Good afternoon. Authorities think they have found the drug that hospitalized several New Mexico high schoolers and maybe the places who sold it to them. Roosevelt County deputies seized hundreds of packets of so-called herbal potpourri, often referred to as spies, after another alarming incident with a young person there. News 13's Emily Younger has a story. Padlocked windows, empty parking lots, and signs that read, sorry, we're closed, at two Portales smoke shops after a raid by Roosevelt County Sheriff's deputies. We seized a lot of packages of different synthetic materials. Uh, that we believed are used for smoking. We've taken off of some of our area youths. Roosevelt County Chief Deputy Malin Parker says more than 200 packages of mine trip, frost, and other items, also referred to as spice, were seized from the shops, two guys with pipes, and smoke and dreams. Sheriff's deputies say seven Portales teenagers have been hospitalized in the last month because of the spice leading them to believe it was time to take action. People were uh, getting high. We were finding them passed out at convenience stores, intersections. Uh, we were getting reports of, of young people just kind of freaking out. Parker says the latest spice episode was Saturday when three teenage girls got their hands on packages like these. Some young girls that had literally destroyed the inside of their house while they were high on this stuff, knocked holes in the walls, tore tore everything off the walls, uh, flip furniture, all kinds of stuff. Deputies say you have to be at least 18 years old to purchase anything from a smoke shop. But even that doesn't stop teens from getting away with it. They just got to know somebody that's willing to get it for them. Deputies say that's a big reason why they're having a difficult time keeping the community clear of the spice substances. We can stop something and or slow it down until they figure out another way of doing it. In Portales, Emily Younger, KRQE News 13. Deputies say samples of these suspected spies are being sent to the New Mexico State Crime Lab for testing to see if they contain chemicals that are banned. Officials say they are consulting with the district, district's attorney's office and charges could be filed in the next week.